and welcome to Atlanta Wrestling Entertainment's Hard Sell. I'm Joshua Wheeler, and we're here to talk about the Season 2 of Atlanta Wrestling Entertainment coming up starting August the 2nd at the AWE Grindhouse. You might notice a Legacy Nightclub right there on Spring Street, just a block away from the varsity, and we got four great events lined up. We're calling it the Long Hot Summer Series, and we're selling one exclusive season pass just for you. It's only $25, and you get entry into all four great AWE events. And let's start with August the 2nd. We have got official word. It's signed, sealed, and delivered. The tag team main event that people have been asking for for months. Chip Day will team with Adrian Armour to face the hierarchy. Murder One and Jimmy Rave. A lot of animosity, a lot of personal feelings, a lot of revenge is in that one. Let's hear from Adrian Armour who wants to talk a little bit about Jimmy Rave. Opportunities are given. It's true, and that's a quote from Jimmy Rave himself. Opportunities are not given, they are earned. And with that quote, came from a little hallway at the masquerade after Jimmy, Jimmy Rave won, won the first title, the first gold, the first championship for AWE. And as much as that quote is motivating to me, it, it burns me a little bit because, granted, I understand. I may have sounded really naive asking Jimmy Ray for a match. I may have sounded really ahead of myself because I'm just some kid on the injured list, right? Yet, Jimmy Ray, there is something I want you to see. The big picture. Who was behind me? Who was behind you? In the hallway, it was no one. It was us. If the opportunity isn't given, who are you going to give it to? Because unfortunately, I didn't see anyone waiting after you. It was me and only me. And you said, now I have to prove myself. Now I have to come back. And I get it. I get that. But there's, there's one thing I want you to see. I have something that no one else has. Because if they had it, they would have been behind me. If they had it, they would have been in front of me asking you for a match, Jimmy Rave. I'm something that no one else is on that roster and that is hungry. This injury has only made me more hungry. And that's something that earns opportunities. That's something that gets what's wanted. So, Jimmy Rave, I want you to see my return match. I want you to see the match after that. I want you to see the match after that. Because then maybe, maybe you'll see the hungry. Maybe you'll see that I don't kill because I'm bored. I don't hit because I'm tired. I kill because I'm hungry. I eat because I'm hungry. And the one thing that I'm starving for the most is to beat the man who is the man. And since you beat everyone else on the roster, there's only one person left. And that was a person that had to sit in the crowd injured. So as much as I am humble, as much as I am happy, as much as I love the fact that I get to say my name next to Jimmy Rave, you've only ignited a fire that I hope you're ready to be burned by. You got to feel for a guy like Adrian Armour who had an opportunity to, to go for the championship, had the injury happen, and didn't get a chance. And in that, in his spot, I mean, Jimmy Rave stepped up, won the tournament, defeated Chip Day. It's a whole lot of drama. And, of course, we all saw what happened at the end of To Be The Man on June 18th when Priscilla Kelly betrayed Chip Day. Also, on August 2nd, Jake Hughes will be in action. Owen Knight will be in action. And the very first ever Big Man Challenge. Siler Price is going to join me now. We're going to talk a little bit about the Big Man Challenge. Siler, August 2nd, Sunday, 4 p.m. You're challenging Iceberg to the Big Man Challenge. <laughs> Why exactly are you still keeping us going with Iceberg? Let me tell you something, Josh. There is a group of guys that want to enter Atlanta Wrestling Entertainment, and they feel like because they've been around the block, because they've lived in Georgia, because they've made their names, that they can try to influence their opinions. Call them 
communists, if you will. And you know what? Those group of guys, they really wanted to bring in someone to hurt my best friend. And that man is Iceberg. And you know what? <laughs> Me and Iceberg, we had a fight. And that's all it was. And I'm not here for a fight. I'm here to prove a point. I'm the biggest, baddest big man in the state. And I'm going to prove it. August 2nd. So, do you want to elaborate a little bit on the big man challenge or... You know? No. It's not necessary. Okay. I'll right. prove my worth that night. Okay. Well, I guess we'll find out more about the Big Man Challenge on August 2nd. Thank you for joining us. Are you tired of getting your ass kicked? Are you tired of rats trying to harass you? Are you tired of getting thrown in the locker rooms? Are you tired of the boys in the back pushing you, trying to get your pay? Well, then that applies to you. Call the number below. And we're Cold Heart Security, and we, we get, get shit done. Remember that time e dang how you hit me in the face with a chair? Do you? I have seen some absolutely crazy things in the wrestling business, but those two guys doing security might be one of the weirdest. Speaking of weird, speaking of strange even, Demitra DeRose will be at the quad AW's Grindhouse on August the 2nd, and she's looking for Kiera Hogan. Last time we saw Demitra DeRose, she was wielding a butcher knife and was coming right at Owen and Kiera. Also on the show, the debut of a very scary seven-footer, Dark Mon. There's a whole lot going on. It's a season two premiere. And, of course, we have the main event we talked about earlier. And i got to be fair, and i got to be balanced, and i got to give equal time to one of the members of the hierarchy, Murder One. You see, in the world of professional wrestling... People always want to be on top. In the minds of some professional wrestlers, there is no such word as stop doing dumb shit. Stop pissing people off. In the case of Chip Day, you're guilty because you won't stay deaf. What else do we have to take from you? We took your pride. We took your manhood. We took your bitch. When will you see? Chip, the only thing we haven't taken is your life. Do you want me? you want Jimmy? you want Berg? Do you want Priscilla to take your life? She's got a lot of proving to do, dog. All it takes is one word. And Chip, now you want to bring in your homeboy? You want to bring in the nappy head? You want to bring in another nigga. Haven't you learned, Chip? The last nigga you tagged with turned on you. God, nigga! Chip, do not bring somebody else a world of pain because you don't know when to say I quit. Don't put this on this boy's young ass career, Chip. I'm speaking to you as a mentor. Don't fuck this boy's career up, Chip. Do not bring... You remember when I put the screw to that boy's head? Do you remember that? I let him live because I didn't want to stop his budding career. Chip, don't fuck this boy up. You've done a lot of damage. Priscilla's got brain damage right now. We are teaching her math. Because you kicked her in the head. Another casualty of when Chip Day doesn't know when to stop. Chip, stop before fucking something serious happens to you like you get poked the fuck up. Chip Day, I pray. Stop, son. Stop. Absolutely eerie words from the urban legend. And that's just, that's August 2nd. So we got more. We got August 16th. It's real and it's spectacular. The second part of the Long Hot Summer series. Same bell time, 4 p.m. at the Legacy Nightclub right there on Spring Street. Just a block from Varsity. So you can't miss it. Lots of new faces are going to debut that day. But before we get to the new people, let's bring in one of the old faces. Let's bring in Priscilla Kelly. I try to get some answers as to why she turned on Chip Day. 
Priscilla, I'm glad you join us here in the hard sell. The. The Priscilla Kelly. I'm glad you could join us here. And the people want to know, I want to know, why did you do what you did to Chip Day? You know what, Josh? I just don't think that's any of your business. Obviously got a new attitude. Speaking of new attitudes, we will debut Matt and Joey Lynch from the tri-state area tearing up the scene up there in North Georgia, Tennessee, and Alabama. They're going to come to Atlanta. Also coming to Atlanta to face Matt and Joey Lynch, a tag team they actually had issues with in the past. Keith and KT Hamill, the Double Dragons. There's also going to be so so much more. All the fallout from August the second. All the fallout from season one. And it's all happening August 16th, and then you got August the 30th. August the 30th, Jimmy Rave will meet Ring of Honor star Cedric Alexander in the very first Georgia Wrestling Crown Championship matchup. How can you not want to witness history? That's the third leg. There's still one more leg we got to talk about, and that's 9-13, September 13th. Tells of an Arabian face, well, hello, Chip Day. I didn't have you scheduled for this. I know, I'm in the Well, I mean, there's a lot to talk about. We got August 2nd, you got the tag team with Arbor. There's August 30th, where you're going to be very, very, you know, looking at Seth versus Jimmy Ray, because, of course, you want a title shot. And then you got August 16th, you got 9-13, Sabu versus Murder 1. But what brings you out here, really? I mean, all that's awesome. And being offered for a very low price of $25 for four shows, which is unheard of in this area. But what the main thing on my mind right now is I want to know why my girl decided to go with, well, let's let's call it like it is a street corner colonel. I want to know why she why she's gone with, with a backstabber now in Jimmy Rave. I want to know why she's with one of the best big men in Georgia in Iceberg. Basically, I want to know why she stabbed me in the back. And then fucking kick me in the ball. Excuse my mouth, but this this is heated. No, I, I'm, I, not, I, I'm not stopping until I get answers. I, I completely understand it. Well, hopefully we'll get some answers on August the second when you will be at the quad. Then you know hopefully we'll get somewhere. And then again August the thirtieth we're gonna see Jimmy Ray and Sammy Alexander. So I gotta ask you, being the wrestling guy that you are, knowing these two guys in and outside the ring, who do you wanna see as a champion after August the thirtieth? Uh, Cedric's one of my best friends, and I would love to see nothing more than him just to rack up every single title that he can get. George Wrestling Crown, obviously, is going to be a big deal for him, uh, but I, I want Jimmy Ray to call out the champion of me. Okay, very well. There, there you hear it. Chip Day's ready for the, the Long Hot Summer Series. I'm ready for the Long Hot Summer Series. And again, let's get let's run it down. August 2nd, huge tag team main event. August 16th, a lot of new faces will come into play. August 30th, it's Jimmy Rave versus Cedric Alexander. And then on 9-13, it's Sabu versus Murder One. 15 years in the making. But wait, there's more. JT Dunn, a Northeast wrestling standout for Beyond Wrestling Combat Zone all over. That part of the United States is going to come to Atlanta for the very first time. And he is signed, sealed, and delivered to face the winner of Jimmy Ray and Cedric Alexander. It doesn't get much bigger than this, wrestling fans. And if you're in Atlanta, and you've been in Atlanta, don't wait. Go to ATLWrestlingENT.com today. Get your season pass for $25. $25. That's how much most shows would charge just to see JT Dunn. That's how much most shows would charge to see Cedric Alexander and Chip Day. That's how much most shows will charge just to be in the building to see Sabu. You're getting all, all for that one low price of $25. This is Josh Weaver for the AWE Hard Sell, and we can't wait to see you at the quad and in Chamber 36 on these four days. So, in a game like I play, which is pretty much, you know, for keeps, along comes a man that actually steered me in that direction of the game playing for keeps because every time I've tried to build my name, try to take it to the next level, this motherfucker was always there to stop me. 
every time I tried to make a come up in a company that was interested in me, every time it was time to show what I could do, this motherfucker was trying to put me through a fucking table. Well, now it's kind of like, I would say kind of like an even battlefield. Because I didn't been through my fair amount of shit. I didn't carried a fair amount of guilt. I've done a lot of things in this business. In the name of this business. This business is professional fucking wrestling. And Sabu, you think that you are still, you think that really, my nigga, let me put it to you like this. You think you're just going to come in and make a payday. You think you're going to come in and sell some pictures. You and your genie's going to politic with some marks. You and your genie are going to be there to entertain. No, homeboy. This is a match that means something to me. If I had a bucket list, if I had a revenge list, you would probably be number two. So I might as well just go ahead and scratch you off that list. Yeah, I got a turban on. I'm feeling a little funny, you know what I'm saying? I thought I was going to come on here and crack a joke, but no. It got that serious. Sabu, if you think you're coming to entertain somebody, you're going to let a lot of motherfuckers down. Because on September 13th, in the pit, the 36th chamber, I plan to make a mark. I plan to build upon the name of Murder One. And I think that the name Murder One will have a special meaning on September 13th. Because in order to build my career, I'm going to have to kill yours. And that's as real as I can make it.